Hey everyone, Sithrith here. Welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play Guild Wars 2. Um, before I start, I just want to let you know I did hit level 11, um, because I was finishing that heart that I was doing last episode, because I only had to kill, like, one spider. So I did, and I hit level 11. Um, I do want to work on at least maybe, like, one or two more hearts before I continue my, uh, personal story. I almost said epic story again, but, um... Because I'm trying to kind of stretch out my story a bit, because otherwise you get a story in chunks of ten. So, meaning every ten levels you get a new chunk of story. So I'm kind of trying to, you know, stretch it out a little bit, um, kind of pace myself. I'll, I think it, it kind of helps remembering what's happening in the story, otherwise because you just kind of do it all at once. Like, right when you hit level ten or twenty or thirty or whatever. And then you go to do it the next, you know, ten levels later. You might be like, wait, what is happening? It also doesn't help that the story jumps around a bit. So that's... Oh. Oh, okay. I walked into this event happening. So I guess I'll work on this. There's a lot of uh, mobs here. Hopefully I don't die. I'm gonna try and use some skills. Oh, I'm dying. Yeah, um, that guy over there that was also doing this event just, uh, just got defeated. So that... That doesn't bode well for this event going very well. Um, when I get a chance, I might just run away because, yeah. Yep, defeated. Okay, well, I think that's my first actual full death. So that's exciting. Yay, I died. So when you die, basically you just pick a waypoint to go back to. It's not really a big deal. Unless, of course, you know, you died with a, uh, in a new area that you haven't finished exploring and you die way far away from any discovered waypoints and then... Then, yeah, then it's a problem. Uh, that's definitely a problem. But, um, let's, where is the nearest heart? Oh, I was I was really close to it, but then I just, I don't know. Well, the event happened, I guess. But anyways, some exciting things have happened since I last recorded. Although not necessarily since last episode aired, you know, went live on YouTube. Um, but definitely since I last recorded, so this is the first time I'm talking about it on this show. First of all, Season 2 came back. Let me open up... Uh, story journal. Oh gosh, I should probably not stand so near this event while I'm trying to do this. Not a good idea! Alright, I'm gonna stand back a bit. Okay, so, season two of the Living World story thing, whatever you want to call it. I guess they call it Living World. I've heard people refer to it as, uh, Living Story, but whatever. Season two has returned. Uh, if you don't know what this is, because I haven't talked about it, because I'm not at the right level to do it, so I haven't really had a chance to talk about it, um... Basically, this living world story thing is when you log in, you unlock this and you can participate in it. It's it's another story aspect. It's like your personal story, but everybody's doing it. <laughs> it make you know. I think you you get it right. Hopefully. Um, so before we only had for season two, they had released uh, chapters one, two, three, or episode. I don't know what episode. Yeah, episode. I guess is the proper thing. Um, since I didn't play when the first part of Season 2 came out, I would have to buy it with gems to access it. But since I have logged in, since, uh, Episodes 4 and 5 have come out, uh, specifically, I guess, Part 5, Echoes of the Past is the main one, that is the, that is what this, this update is called, Echoes of the Past. Um, you complete it, you get rewards, it's pretty cool stuff. Uh, obviously it says this episode will become playable at level 80, um, yeah, 79 more? No, just kidding. I know how to count. 69 more, uh, levels to go. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. I'm not obviously going to be covering that for a while, but hopefully one day I will cover new, uh, Living World installments once I get there. We'll see. So that's pretty cool for people who are at the level cap and can do that kind of thing. Let me know how it goes. I don't know. I won't know for quite a while. At least not on this character. And some other very exciting news that happened, uh, that's more relevant to me specifically, is that I am starting a Guild Wars website. I mean, I say I'm starting, but it's, it's part of a network. Um, if you know me from Lotro stuff, you probably know that I do... I am a co-host on the Lotro Players News podcast for the Lotro Players website. So that's part of a bigger network called the uh, Players Alliance Network. 
And there's also a DDO Players that's part of this network, and so we decided that the next step would be the Guild Wars universe. And so I am going to be the lead director of the site, since apparently I am the one who is most excited about this game. Uh, and, oh, this is a veteran cave troll behind me. I guess I should kill it. And it's dead. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to be the lead director of this Guild Wars Players site. Uh, there's going to be a podcast... It's going to be Cool Beans. We haven't officially announced it yet, but um, obviously I'm talking about it anyway. Because we still need writers, we need maybe podcast co-hosts. Um, obviously we need to like talk to you and vet you and stuff. We're just starting off with two hosts for right now, and then hopefully we'll add more later. And yeah, so if you're interested in that, I recommend you go to guildwarsplayers.com. If you look around the site under the More tab near the top, you should find a option to join us, and it tells you how you can, you know, send us an email and say, like, hey, I'm interested, I like Guild Wars and Guild Wars 2 stuff, and I would like to be a part of this thing, which I would definitely appreciate. I especially am really interested in getting some people on involved in the site who know more about the lore. I've been doing a ton of lore research the past week uh, since we decided to do this. I've watched so many videos and I've listened to so many other Guild Wars podcasts and Guild Wars 2 podcasts uh, the past week. But I definitely obviously don't know nearly as much as people who've been really into the games you know, for the past few years since they've been released, since Guild Wars released and since Guild Wars 2 was released. So, people who know a lot about the lore, I'd really appreciate you, you know, contributing to the site. That'd be super cool. Even if you just do some one-off articles, like, it doesn't- you don't have to do, like, a column or anything. So, remember how I switched back to, um, to, or I switched to dual-wielding pistols, and I switched away from a two-handed rifle? Well, I'm beginning to think that maybe I should go back to the rifle. Because I'm really... Like, I like this blowtorch skill. That's really cool. Like I said last couple of episodes. I like it. That's cool. But I'm really not a fan of this glue shot. It, it, when you have so few skills, um, even just one that you think is kind of crappy is, is, you know, not great. It makes you think about switching weapons. So I'm thinking I might switch back to Rifle. I don't think I've played it in a few levels, so I should have some extra skills. I think I have a somewhat okay Rifle uh, somewhere in my loot. Um, this one seems not too bad. Let's see, 205 strength maximum plus 12 precision. Yeah, why not? Let's try it. I guess it would help if I open up my equipment tab instead. Um, still kind of disappointed that I can't really do the weapon switching like I can on my other characters. Okay, Escalonian Mage, I get it. You're a jerk. And you want me to die or whatever. By the way, in my lore research, I've, I've now discovered why these ghosts are still around. Um, and not, you know, disappearing when you kill them, like you would expect of ghosts, or like, you would expect ghosts to just generally not exist. Um, it is because of a curse that happened, because, okay, so, we're, we are in the fe the plains of Ashford, which is part of Ascalon, you can see on the map. Big text says Ascalon. Ascalon was originally the homeland of the Char, which was kind of established, we knew that. Um, and... Then the humans took over, the Ascalonian humans took over, because there's different factions of humans, and that's one of them. And they took over, and then the Char were like, no, screw that, I want my homeland back. And so they did what they could to do so, and one of the things they did is... Well, okay, so here's the thing, here's the part where I get a little murky, because, I don't know, Researching lore is a little weird because it's, like, nobody seems to just have, like, a really clear-cut, like, here is a chronological telling of the story for, you know, people who are new to this lore situation. It's kind of all over the place. Like, le reading wikis isn't really helpful because it references all these characters, like, it just lays out the facts and it uses all these characters and 
lore names and other things that you don't really understand and so whatever. But so here's where I'm murky. I think it's because uh, the the char initiated this thing called the searing. Now you might remember earlier I was fighting these things called flame legion chars. They are the bad char that we're fighting. Basically, the flame legion used to be in charge of all the char, and they worship these. Uh, quote-unquote gods called titans and if you remember from the first episode my little intro thing uh, my character references killing their gods they literally killed their gods like I thought that was just a uh, like oh like we killed our gods with machines of war like I thought it was just a turn of phrase but no they literally killed them uh, after the searing and the searing basically they use this big crystal to burn everything and destroy everything in Ascalon, including the people living there, the humans. And something about... I don't know. Like I said, this is where I get murky. But I think it's because of the searing that there's all these ghosts here that's like cursed and something about you have to get the two swords back together so Hothen and I can't remember the other one. But yeah, uh, once we get to dungeons we'll get into that. Um, and I guess when we talk to other Char more a bit. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. But like I said, I'm a little murky. So feel free to correct me if I'm wrong and that the searing is not the reason for the ghosts. Or the reason for the curse. Whatever. You get what I'm saying. Anyways, I've been talking a lot this episode, so I'm gonna stop for now. Um, especially because I'm kind of wandering aimlessly. I'm not actually working on a heart right now. I should probably get myself together. Although I'm trying to find the vista for this cool big giant crystal. Which I think is remnant of the searing? It's so good time. Actually, there's a plaque over there. Let's see how relevant I'm being um, to this area. I need to get rid of this crippled thing, but urgh, come on, I just want to read the plaque! Oh, these are level 15, that's why. Okay, so we're not going to read this plaque today, I have a feeling. Um, so yeah, watch for levels, kids. Anyways, I'm dead. <laughs> So, thanks for watching. Next time, we might get to see this plaque, maybe. We'll see. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the internet.